Okay, welcome back for day two of the magic of musical theater.、Wow. In day one, we talked about where musical theater came from. So、uh, to recap a little、mm-hmm. bit, musical theater is a performance that combines singing, acting, and dancing to tell stories. Mm, very nice,、mm-hmm. but you know what? It's not just around around this time. It can、mm-hmm. be traced back all the way to ancient Greece. That's a long time, I know.、Yeah. But it got its modern structure、right? a little more recently,、yes. about three four hundred years ago, in seventeen twenty eight, with John Gay's The Beggar's Opera. Yeah, because before then it's probably more just music,、mm-hmm. right? And they、yeah. added dialogues into this, right? And it became popular in the U.S. in 1866 with the Black Crook,、um, which was five hours long because they added that French ballet thing. Oh my goodness! I wonder how <laughs> I wonder how it got so popular. I know. Maybe people were more patient back then.、Mm. <laughs> anyway, after World War One,、um, musical theater shifted a little bit more from comedy, and it. Focused on romance and social concerns, and it's been that way ever since.、Aww. Yeah, I like romance, but I also like comedies. So yeah, I, I like do、both. want those two combined.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked mostly about theater in the West, though. But what about in the East? Would you say musical theater has been as popular here? Um. For some people, yes, but I don't think it's a huge thing here in Taiwan compared to compared、yeah. to like America,、yeah. Or England. Yeah, maybe it really、not. depends. Like some people are super interested, are, are really into musicals, and、mm-hmm. today we're going to find out one that's really popular and famous actually Ooh, in Taiwan. Awesome!、So、why don't we find out? Yeah, let's do it. Reading. The magic of musical theater. Though musical theater is popular in the West, the development of musical theater in the East has been slow. Traditional Asian theater is rooted in folklore. Adapting ancient stories to the modern stage, especially in the style of Western musicals, can be challenging. Therefore. Most musicals staged in Asia have been Western productions that companies can get permission to produce. Even then, theaters must meet such strict conditions to do so that it can barely seem worth it. Few Asian companies have staged musicals of Asian origin until now. Fortunately, this is changing across the region. Taipei's own Godot Theater Company takes center stage in this respect. Founded in 1988, the company was the first in Taiwan to offer Chinese language musicals. One of its most famous shows, Kiss Me Nana, is a rock musical based on Shakespeare's *The Taming of the Shrew*. Godot now has over 60 musicals under its belt. And it seems set to continue. Hopefully, this amazing company will carry on helping the musical scene in Asia grow. Okay, so we're looking at day two of the article, and starts talking about、um, just. You know the musical theater. Though musical theater is popular in the West, the development of musical theater in the East has been slow. So here we have the word development. Our first vocab word already. It's a noun. It's talking about development is something how something moves along and becomes better or more popular or more advanced over time. The development of technology, like going from old computers to smartphones, is a good example. Or the development of different cultures around the world. So here's an example how I can use it in a sentence. The development of electronic instruments in the 20th century made it possible to create new sounds in music. Nice. Okay. So, 的确没错。虽然音乐剧呢在西方世界很受欢迎，但是大家有没有发现，在这个亚洲音乐剧的发展其实比较缓慢哈。嗯，那其中我们刚刚提到的。
theater 在这里指的就是戏剧，我们提到的是亚洲的音乐的戏剧音乐剧哦。那其中我们就提到的他们的发展很缓慢，发展的英文我们可以用 development， 因为我们都知道 develop 也有发展的意思，不过它是一个动词。那 development 这里看到是个名词。Okay, you often think about the development of the English language, right?、Mm-hmm. And also, if I use it in a sentence, I could say something like the vitamin. May help prevent the development of cancer.、Ooh. So usually we can use development of something. Yes, definitely. So talking about development of musical theater in the、mm-hmm. East, traditional Asian theater is rooted in folklore. Hmm. What does that mean? Hmm. That's true. Okay. 其实传统的亚洲戏剧根源呢，在于这个民间传说。Okay, folklore 就是民间传说。不过 ，be rooted in something 这个片语，我们来了解一下，就是根源于什么什么。像是呢 ，his art is rooted in reality, or her opinions are deeply rooted in her faith.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Back to the article. Let's find out more. Yes. So, talking about Asian theater and folklore, adapting ancient stories to the modern stage, especially in the style of Western musicals, can be challenging. That's very true. Okay,、mm-hmm. 没错，刚刚我们有提到，就是这个民间传说。不过，将这些古老的故事，如果要改编成现代舞台演出的话呢，尤其啊是改成西方音乐剧的形式，可能会很怎么样？很 challenging. Okay, 就是挑战性。待会再来解释一下这个字的用法。不过呢，刚刚有提到 adapt， 其实就是改编、改写哦。Okay. And we have another vocab word in this sentence talking about something being challenging. It's an adjective. When something is challenging, it means it's hard, or it makes you have to find new ways to think or to do things. Different subjects in school are challenging for different students. Some people like to have a challenging job that gives their brain a workout. So challenging can also be a positive thing. So here's an example in a sentence. Although Martha found her science class very challenging, she studied hard for it all year and got an A on the final exam. Wow! Yeah, well、Martha. done. Okay, <laughs> challenging. We all know challenge is what? Is challenge? It can be used as a noun or a verb. But here, challenging is an adjective. It is a noun. It is a challenging. 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 Yeah, for example, teaching. We're talking about teaching here is challenging but rewarding work. Okay. Oh, absolutely. You see all the your students getting A's, <laughs> like <laughs> Martha. Just kidding. That would be great. Okay. Now, um, you could also talk about something like a book. For example, it's a challenging book that requires careful reading. Hmm.、Mm, what do you consider challenging, Cat? What do I think of as challenging? <laughs> I think going to bed early is that challenging for me. <laughs> that's true. Going to bed early,、um, doing keeping my house clean. Oh, oh that's a good、man. one. Very or, challenging. Or math. Just I know. math is so hard. <laughs> same, same. Okay, I'm、yeah. glad I'm pretty okay with languages. Yeah, me too. All right. So back to the article.、Mm-hmm. Therefore. Because they're challenging. Therefore, <laughs> most musicals staged in Asia have been Western productions that companies can get permission to produce. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we 刚刚听啊、uh, 听到就是说这个嗯、um, 是非常挑战性的，就是在讲亚洲的戏剧哦。因此呢，多数在亚洲展演的这个音乐剧呢，皆是亚洲公司取得再制作西方的作品的许可哦。其中呢，我们有提到的刚刚呃、uh, stage 有舞台的意思，可在这个句子 stage 当做动词来用，有上演或是举办的意思。而 production 呢，则是在这里指的就是戏剧啦，或者是影视作品、广播等等的制作这样子的意思。And we also saw our vocab permission here.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have permission, which is a noun, and permission is being allowed to do something. When you're a kid, you need your parents' permission to go to your friend's house. You need your teacher's permission to leave class and use the bathroom. In the case of musicals in Asia, the people doing them have to ask the original producers to let them do the show. They need to ask for their permission. So here's an example: I got my mom's permission to go to Japan with my best friend's family. 
Nice. OK. <笑>好啦，那我们刚刚有看到 permission 这个字哦，这个就是许可或是允许，它是一个名词。Yeah, I often think about、um, asking your teacher's permission. For example, the teacher gave me her permission to go home early, or you have to ask permission to leave. Right. You have to say, "Teacher, can I leave?" <laughs> yeah. Even then, walk out of the room. <laughs>、so、yeah, that would be that would be trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, but even when they ask permission,、uh -huh. even then, theaters must meet such strict conditions to do so that it can barely seem worth it. Wow, wow、hmm. doesn't、okay. sound fun. I know. So,、yeah. 即便如此，戏戏院必须要满足严格的这个条件，才可以取得版权制作。而条件严格到取得版权再制作的行动，似乎不是很值得。哇，听起来他们的这个路真的非常的艰辛哦。就是亚洲的音乐剧。那这里我们看到的 theater， 其实就则有这个戏院或是剧。场这样子的意思哦 ，and we saw the word strict, didn't we? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. We actually have two vocab、yeah. words in here, but the first one is strict. Strict is an adjective. Strict is when people have rules that you must follow. You can also describe a person this way. A strict teacher will not let you break the rules in their class at all. A strict law is one that if you break it, you'll definitely be in trouble. So maybe some people, if you don't follow the rules, they're like, "Oh, that's okay." But if they are strict, nope, you can't break the rules at all. So here's an example: My friends and I have a strict rule that we will never tell each other secrets to other people. Wow,、mm -hmm. I think、Gotta、I want to tell、in. you a secret now because it <laughs> seems like you can keep secrets very well. We are trustworthy.、Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, strict. Okay, sounds like my mom. This word. Okay, my mom is very strict. <laughs> 就是严格的，这是一个形容词。不，通常我们可以讲到非常严格的一些规定啦、规则啦、条件啦，就是 strict rule。Or laws, 法律啦 regulations, or maybe、uh, if it, it、um, if it has to do with your health,、mm -hmm. um, maybe somebody can be under strict orders from a doctor saying you have to quit smoking. Yeah. yeah. Because it's really bad, or probably you'll get lung cancer.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here's the second word in the sentence. This is. Barely, barely is an adverb. If something is barely something else, it's almost not that thing at all. Like almost never or almost not. I can barely move means I almost can't move even a little. I barely got to class on time means you were this close. My fingers are very close together <laughs> to being late. Okay, and how we, can we use barely in a sentence? Mike could barely stop himself from shouting when his daughter broke his iPhone. Yikes!、Mm, yeah. Okay, barely. It is a verb. It means almost no. Almost no. For example, I barely recognized you with your hair cut short. Yeah, if somebody has super long hair、mm -hmm. and cuts his or her hair short, you can't really recognize this person. Right. Or I barely or I almost do not have time to eat my lunch. So you can hear my stomach growling just now. I hope the students didn't hear me. Oh、okay. gosh. I want to go ahead and explain a little bit about this sentence,、um, the grammar of it. 刚刚我们提到 even then, okay, theaters must meet strict conditions. To do so, that it can barely seem worth it. 在这边呢，其实有很多东西我们要探讨的、哦。比方像是 meet， 在这句话当中是。呃，动词哦，表示满足啦，应付啊。OK， meet 一个 condition。OK， 那 such that 就是如此怎么样，以至于什么什么。OK， 所以 such strict conditions to do so。刚刚有没有记得那个句子？不过这里的 so。的如此是表示前面提到的事情或状况，所以在这里呢，提到的就是取得国外音乐剧的这个版权制作，其实是怎么样 ？It's not worth it. OK， 这里呢，我们有提到后面 ，so that it can barely seem worth it。主词 it 是代表是什么呢 ？Companies get permission to do the play， 这整件事情哦。那 worth 在这里是形容词，表示值得的
。OK， 所以常常我们会习惯说 something is worth it， 就表示某事是很值得的这样的意思。Okay, so let's continue with the article. We were talking about that it's really, really difficult to produce Western plays in Asia. So few Asian companies have staged musicals of Asian origin until now. Hmm. No wonder. Okay, so before, very few Asian companies will be staging Asian Western musicals. Hmm. But fortunately, this is changing across the region. Fortunately,、ah, good.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so 幸运的是，这个现象在整个亚洲地区开始有所改变喽。Fortunately, yeah, fortunately, good thing, right? This is yeah. Fortunately, <laughs> it was one of our vocab words. It's an adverb. So a fortunate person is a lucky person. So something happens fortunately. It's lucky it happened. Usually, we say fortunately to bring up a good fact just after telling a bad one. So the bad fact is, it's really hard to make musicals in Asia. But fortunately, it's changing now. So here's another example. My dog ran away yesterday. Fortunately, we found him in the park this afternoon and brought him home. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's always nice to get your pet back. Fortunately, okay, 就是 luckily 幸运的 Okay, and of course the opposite of that would be unfortunately 不幸的 Okay, 通常 fortunately 后面就是接一个好的东西了 So fortunately, for example, luckily the plane was able to land safely, or no one was injured. Fortunately, okay, right, it's a good thing.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a good thing. And so let's find out how it's changing. Taipei's own Godot Theatre Company takes center stage in this respect. Hmm, that sounds fun.、Mm, I know this company. Okay, Taipei 自己的果陀剧场在这方面成为注目的焦点哦。Okay, 这里有没有发现 theater 的文字当中的拼法是 t h e a t r e？ 它是英式的拼法。That's a British、uh, spelling. Okay,、yeah. and take center stage 在这里呢是指成为注目的焦点。OK， 以及呢，我们看到 respect 在这里呢是嗯、呃、当做名词来用，有什么方面的意思？所以通常我们会用整个片语 in this respect， 就是在这方面哦。嗯哼 ，Yeah， so let's learn about Godot Theatre Company. Founded in 1988, I think that's the year I was born. The company was the first in Taiwan to offer Chinese language musicals. Nice. OK， 所以。嗯、um, ，我我其实还不知道哇，他们真的很久哎，创立于一九八八年。我们刚刚提到的是果陀剧场哦，这个公司是首个在台湾演出中文音乐剧。嗯哼 ，That sounds interesting. So one of its most famous shows, Kiss Me Nana. Is a rock musical based on Shakespeare's *The Taming of the Shrew*.、Uh, this one's very famous. 最知名的演出之一莫过于《Kiss Me, Nana》吻我吧，娜娜。它是一出根据这个 Shakespeare 哇，莎士比亚莎翁的《The Taming of the Shrew》，就是驯汉记而写成的摇滚音乐剧哦 ，a rock musical. Yeah, rock musicals are so cool. I love watching those.、Mm. So Godot now has over sixty musicals under its belt, and it seems set to continue. That's a lot. Sixty. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So Godot Theatre now has over sixty musicals under its belt, and it seems set to continue. That's a lot. Sixty. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So Godot Theatre now has over sixty musicals under its belt, and it seems set to continue. That's a lot. Sixty. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So Godot Theatre now has over sixty musicals under its belt, and it seems set to continue. That's a lot. Sixty. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So Godot Theatre now has over sixty musicals under its belt. 不过刚刚我们好像有看到一个很重要的 phrase， 就是 have or get something under one's belt。嗯，到底这个片语要怎么用呢？是什么意思呢 ？Let's check out our pocket phrase go. Pocket phrase go. Hello, all my lovely fans. It's me, Mariah again. 是我，玛利亚，凯子又来了。现在啊，新人很多，哪一个不是女神？又会唱歌，又会跳舞，又颜值高啊！有些媒体问我，咪咪，你出道这么多年了，人家比你年轻，你还要混吗 ？OK, OK. Because of my years of hard work, I have lots of awards. Under my belt, 
，拜托，这么多年努力经营，人家不知道拿过多少奖了，真功夫还怕新人来挑战吗 ？Belt 就是腰带，看一下腰带下面，哎，就是你的肚子啊。所以呢 ，have or get something under one's belt 就是把什么东西吃到肚子里，就可以引申为学到或者是获得了有用的好的东西。像我得到了好多奖，或者是啊，像你们台湾的陈彦博也是啊 ，the runner。Has a ton of achievements under her belt, including three gold medals for the 100 kilometer race. 要好好努力才能收获满满哦。Okay, so we are back. So let's finish up the article.、It、says hopefully this amazing company will carry on helping the musical scene in Asia grow. I'm sure it will.、Definitely. 希望这间好公司当然就是果陀啦。会继续帮助亚洲音乐剧，呃的领域的发展哦。这里的 hopefully 就是但愿呢、啊，就是一样也是提到一个非常正面的一个想法。它是个副词 ，carry on doing something， 就是继续做某件事情。比方像是 you have an accident if you carry on driving like that， maybe driving high speed、okay.。Yeah， you'll probably get a ticket as well、That's、besides having、true. an accident。Yeah， it's a bad idea all around。Okay, so we are at the end of our article, and that means it's time to go to our for you chat question. For you chat. All right, here we are with for you chat, and today's question, which I'm going to ask Laura,、okay. is. If you could be involved in any of the arts, which would you choose and why? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a good voice like you when it comes to singing. Oh, okay, that's, true. that's not true. But I do like acting, and I also like. Writing scripts. Ooh, yeah, I like coming up with like, and also I love comedies. So sometimes I like to collect, you know, funny jokes or punchlines, things like that. Oh, that's cool. I like cool. to sort of like think of creative stuff and put it in like all together. And I like it has usually has to do with everyday situations. Uh huh. Yeah, so, so people can relate、like、to. Okay, that sounds yeah. Cool. That sounds like it'd be fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I want to actually start. Doing that if I have more time. That's great. Yeah, you know this group of people, right? You, I do. We I know this group of people. The children, they're、yep. so awesome. I wish I could do something <laughs> like that too. You could. You could start a、yeah. YouTube channel, right? What about you? If you could be involved in any of the arts, what would you choose, Cat?、Uh, I can't possibly pick just one. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's so many things, right? Right. But I went to school for illustration, so、oh. I think my favorites probably got to be. Drawing. I like. I appreciate art, but I can't draw. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fun. I think I. I am. I believe that anybody can learn to draw. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I'm gonna check out some of your、um, drawings or paintings. You know,、cool. after the show. All right. But you know, until next time. What、well, this was fun. You know, chatting with you.、Uh-huh. Um. Until next time. This is Laura, and I'm Cat. Bye. Bye. The magic of musical theater. Though musical theater is popular in the West, the development of musical theater in the East has been slow. Traditional Asian theater is rooted in folklore. Adapting ancient stories to the modern stage, especially in the style of Western musicals, can be challenging. Therefore. Most musicals staged in Asia have been Western productions that companies can get permission to produce. Even then, theaters must meet such strict conditions to do so that it can barely seem worth it. Few Asian companies have staged musicals of Asian origin until now. Fortunately, this is changing across the region. Taipei's own Godot Theatre Company takes center stage in this respect. Founded in 1988, the company was the first in Taiwan to offer Chinese language musicals. One of its most famous shows, Kiss Me Nana, is a rock musical based on Shakespeare's *The Taming of the Shrew*. 
Godot now has over 60 musicals under its belt, and it seems set to continue. Hopefully, this amazing company will carry on helping the musical scene in Asia grow. Vocabulary review. Development. In history class, the students learned about the development of art in ancient Greece. Challenging. This video game is really challenging. I've never been able to beat it. Permission. Henry asked his parents for permission to go on a weekend trip with his friends. Strict. Singapore has very strict laws. It's even illegal to chew gum there. Barely. Kyle was running late and barely got to the train station in time to board his train. Fortunately, Liz had a lot of work to do, but fortunately. Her friend Dan offered to help.